I'm bringing sexy back. Woo! <laughs> Okay, I promise you these tips for looking and feeling sexy are a lot better than my singing. So <laughs> Kelly and I, we are in our mid 40s, but we for sure believe that it doesn't matter what age you are, you can for sure rock that sexy vibe. So whether you are going out on a hot date or whether you are going out for the evening with your spouse, or maybe you're just open to a new relationship, you're definitely gonna really wanna pay attention to these tips. Probably put it in your playlist because you're gonna refer to it later. The only advice that we would give is do not take all of these tips and incorporate them into one outfit. You're going to want to pick and choose which ones you really gravitate towards and there's probably going to be some that you really are not feeling and it might be because it doesn't fit into your personal style or it might be highlighting an area of your body that you're just not comfortable with. Yes, this is such a fun one full of great information because looking and feeling sexy in your 40s may look a little different than it did in your 20s, but these are great tips, very practical, things that you can use every day to look and feel your best. So if this is your kind of video, make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button. I'm Kelly, this is my best friend Christina. We make videos every every Sunday and Thursday all about fashion, tips and tricks, hacks, hauls, all kinds of good content, and we would love to have you back. The first tip we have for feeling sexy is to wear fabrics that have almost this like silky or satiny type of look to it. So for us, whenever we see these kind of fabrics, we always think of a lingerie, which definitely gives a very sensual kind of feel. And you can do this in a numerous number of ways. So you can wear a silky or satiny type of a blazer or even a blouse. You can also wear it in a silky type of dress or in a skirt. So just by wearing these uh, this texture in some of your pieces can definitely vamp up that sex appeal. This next tip is one of my personal favorites and that is to highlight the waist area. So by using a wrap style shirt, a wrap dress, or even a knit fitted dress, you're really able to highlight that waist area which really creates a beautiful and feminine shape. So something like a beautiful wrap blouse is really going to pull you in in that area whether or not you have a rectangular shape like myself with not a lot of waist definition or if you're someone who already has a smaller waist area, maybe you have an hourglass figure and you're really just helping to show off those curves, maybe through a knitted dress, something that is fitted in that waist area and creates that definition is just automatically going to make you feel feminine and sexier. Another way that I love to kind of look and feel sexy is to wear jewelry. So one of my favorite jewelry pieces that I like to wear are drop earrings. So by having that single strand just dangling right next to your neckline, it really creates this very feminine and sexy kind of feel. It is really highlighting your neck area, which is definitely a very delicate part of the body for women. So for sure, if you are wearing this style of earring, it's just drawing attention to your face, to your neckline, creating that sex appeal. Another subtle way to look and feel sexier is just by showing a little bit of leg. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go for a mini style skirt to really show off your legs or a short pair of shorts. This can be done in such a subtle and elegant way and that's by just adding a little slit to a skirt or a dress. So whether or not it is a pencil style skirt or it is a denim skirt, or maybe it's an evening dress. Just having a little slit, whether it's on the side or even in the front, will expose a little bit of leg that will really just add this element of sexiness to your look. And it's such a subtle and simple way and oh so chic. A great color to wear if you want to feel sexy is red. So red is really flattering on all skin tones, but it's also synonymous with the feelings of love and passion and intense emotions. So whether you want to have red as far as in a dress or in a top, or whether you want to do it just as a little minimal touch to your outfit by maybe using a red lipstick or red fingernail polish, it's definitely a great color and will attract a lot of attention and really make you feel very sexy. 
So another easy and subtle way to look and feel a little bit sexier is by adding a necklace to your outfit. So whether you go for a simple classic chain link necklace, which is really going to fall right in this area, highlighting your collarbone and that very feminine area of your upper body, or you might reach for something like this beautiful pearl pennant, which has a little bit longer drop length and really kind of highlights this area that's exposing some skin. It's so feminine and beautiful, which also makes it very sexy. Or a simple pennant necklace, like this little crystal disc that we're showing you. These are just all little details that are really going to bring attention up to your face as well as to that very feminine area of the collarbone and the area where you are exposing a little bit of skin in the upper chest area. And it's just a sexy and subtle way to feel your best. Another great way to look and feel sexy is to show off your shoulders. So this can be done in a number of ways. You can wear something that's strapless or something that has spaghetti straps. You can also have an off the shoulder um, outfit. So whether that's exposing one shoulder or both shoulders, you can even have something that is a halter top. So by exposing those shoulders, you're revealing just a little bit of skin in a very sensual kind of way. This can be done whether it's a uh, little slouchy sweatshirt where you're revealing one shoulder. It can also be a top or a dress, but this is a great way to show some skin in an age appropriate way and vamp up that sex appeal. This next tip has everything to do with the sense of touch. So wearing a soft, cozy, textured sweater, like a cashmere sweater or an angora sweater or any of those very textured, soft, cozy sweaters is really a subtle way to look and feel sexier. Having that soft, cozy texture on your skin is gonna make you feel cozy and sexy, and it's also going to make people want to be closer to you, want to touch you and hug you, and of course, what's not sexy about that? Another great way to look sexy is to highlight your ankles and there's such an easy way to do that. So if you have a pair of shoes, whether it's a high heel shoe that has maybe some strapping detail on it, it's going to draw the attention right to your ankles. So there are high heels that have a lot of these straps and lacing up, tying up details. There's also wedges that have this feature. There's even um, ballet flats or even sandals that have all of this this strapping detail to it. Another kind of shoe that you can also wear that will highlight your ankles are these cut out ankle boots. So these are a pair that Kelly and I absolutely love. They're from Nordstrom. They're our favorites. They always make us feel a little bit sexy, but we never really made the connection before. But your ankles are a very feminine and delicate part of the female body. And that's why when you show a little bit of this ankle, you're going to feel sexy. This next tip is one that I only recently started to enjoy now that I've grown my hair out a bit, and that is wearing your hair up. Wearing your hair up can really be a little bit sexy because it's really showing off your neckline, your collarbone, the back of your neck a little bit, and just revealing more of your face. Now, I'm not talking about those very like sleek ballerina buns where every hair has to be pulled off of your face because sometimes that can be a little bit harsh for a more mature woman. We're talking about doing it in this very soft and subtle way. So think about maybe having some tendrils falling around the face. Think about just that messy kind of little ponytail or updo, but really having those soft elements that kind of frame your face will also really help to create a very sexy kind of effortless look that shows off some feminine areas around your shoulders and your neckline and can really be sexy. A great texture to wear if you want to look and feel sexy is leather. So we all know that leather is synonymous with sexiness. So there are some great ways that you can incorporate this specific texture into an outfit. And that can be with a leather coat. We all love styling even like dresses or a pair of jeans with leather coat. It just gives that like edgy kind of feel to it. You can even have a penciled leather skirt, which I also think can be very classy and sexy. There's also leather pants and even a leather style dress. So so this texture is just a great one for feeling and looking sexy. 
Moving on to another very sensual area of the body, and that is the back. So a way to really look and feel sexy is by exposing some back. Now, don't get scared, ladies. That does not mean you have to go completely backless. It's really up to you how low you want to go, but a beautiful backless top or dress can definitely be very sexy. And that can be as simple as just a subtle scoop neck back, or even just a tiny little peephole detail in the back of a blouse or a dress can really be sexy. It's just that little subtle exposure of some skin in a little bit of an unexpected way is really beautiful and can make you look and feel sexier. Another great jewelry piece to wear if you want to look and feel sexy are some bangle bracelets. So bracelets in particular are a great piece to wear if you want to draw some attention to your dainty and feminine uh, wrists. So bangles are a great way to do it because just by them making a little bit of noise and maybe having a little bit of shine, whether it's from like a twisted metal or maybe there's some crystals on it, it's a great way to just draw that attention right to that area. Area. So we're going to share with you some bangles that we have from our local vendor. They're definitely a great high quality bangle um, and one that we personally love. But these are a great jewelry piece and a staple you should have in your collection when you want to feel a little sexy. So when you hear us recommend sheer fabric, you may get a little bit nervous, but we are not talking about revealing anything. We're talking about sheer fabrics that give the illusion that you might be seeing something that you shouldn't be seeing, but really it's being done in such a classy and elegant, subtle way that it's very sexy and also appropriate. So we're talking about blouses with maybe a nice sheer sleeve detail, or perhaps a little bit of sheer lace in the back of a blouse or a dress. You can even have a sheer overlay on a long maxi skirt or some sheared tiered ruffles at the bottom of a hemline. All of these things are just very feminine and beautiful and that sheer fabric is just a subtle way to look and feel sexier. All right, ladies, so I'm not going to sing for you again, but hopefully some of these tips will help you to look and feel sexier. Just know that we are cheering for you. You should feel sexy. doesn't matter what your age is, and we will see you ladies next time.